turn on game mode. And actually, I wonder what would happen if we just press that and see what happens here. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Really excited about this video because it might help out a ton of you guys out there. We're going to be testing out three free FPS boosters that you guys can download right away. Now, none of these three FPS boosters I'm sponsored by, so it's just going to be a complete honest opinion of whether these softwares work. I really hope they do because it would be amazing to find a holy grail of free FPS in Fortnite Chapter 3. Chapter 3 has been really really rough on a lot of people. Uh, I've noticed a lot of people out there are having very low FPS in the brand new season using the exact same settings from chapter two. So because of that, we're gonna be testing out some of these softwares and seeing if they actually work. Now, first off, before I begin, I don't recommend downloading and using all three. Aggressively, hurry, aggressively. Okay. What are you oh, doing? <laughs> what are you doing? That is unless you're a pyromaniac and have the fire department on standby. Let's just say you won't have to worry about your FPS too much longer if you do that. And before we begin, this is a prime example for us to introduce no ping. So alongside with it giving you the lowest ping possible wherever you live and therefore giving you a more stable, better connection to your network, it also has a built-in FPS booster. It's pretty cool. I'll show you where that you can find that. So once you actually load up no ping, you'll see this gear in the top right corner. If you click that, there's an option here to boost FPS. So no ping therefore is actually an FPS booster. You can definitely get the link down in the description and you can test out no ping for at least two weeks. See if it works for you. If not, you can always uninstall it and unsubscribe. Let's talk about these three game boosters. Now, Razer Cortex has been around for a while. Same with Gamefire. We haven't tested Wise Game Booster before. I haven't tested it, but we're gonna be going through all three of these because all three of these actually are indeed free. They're gonna tweak some of your system settings. So do be aware of that uh, when you download them and use them. So the reason FPS boosters can work is because they're actually gonna tune up your system and they're basically going to utilize certain functions on your PC not being utilized to give you best performance. Download these at your own risk. You never know what they're really doing per se when they optimize your PC and give you better performance. But let's dive into it. So first off guys, we're gonna be going to the same area every single time. In this case, we're gonna be going to the creative hub. Uh, as you can see, my general FPS right now happens to be around 110. For my low FPS up to about 160, 170. So it does fluctuate, but you can see that it levels out a lot around like 110. Oh wow. If I look straight down, I get 350 and a high of 480. That is, but then I jump around and it's 110. So anyways, we're gonna base it off the movement and the lowest lows, which is about 110, and highest highs are like up to 480 apparently so that's what we're gonna hopefully try to beat with the FPS booster I'm gonna keep every setting the same all we're gonna do is simply try optimizing it with the FPS booster so let's go ahead and try out the first one all right so first one we're gonna go ahead and try is game fire and I've used game fire before uh, I think it was about a year ago when I when I first tested it out so let's go ahead and, and try it uh, it's pretty easy to use the free version doesn't give you all these extra things that you can do like system diagnostics process optimizer but we're just going to turn on game mode and uh yeah it might try closing my streaming software hang on so what it actually did was it killed all background running applications I had to restart my streaming software and recording software but we are back in had to reload fortnite and uh let's just see how things go i do want to say right now it's not overly impressive i'm seeing 110 for the low and uh yeah 160 170 for the high and it's more or less, uh, it is way more consistent at 110 though. Like it's not bouncing all over the place, but it didn't go up in FPS. And now like looking down, we're not getting near that 480 that we were getting. So this is actually hurting performance from the looks of it here. Um, it's really stable, but it is not really helping from the looks of it here. What we're gonna go ahead and try, um, because I bet what's going on right now is it is, it's uh it's making it more stable and it's not boosting it so i'm gonna go ahead and close it and see if that helps ready there i just closed it out and yeah now we see that it like shot up to 260 
randomly for the low and 300 for the low. So now it's like not being capped out, but it's almost like it was capping it, which is weird. Yeah, and then I look down and I'm getting 500 FPS for the high. Uh, for some reason, looking down makes my FPS like skyrocket. But anyways, um, it actually seems like my PC is do even, doing even better now that I closed out the uh, that software. So that is weird. It It's doing better than before, before I, I opened it. Um, what I'd recommend at this point is downloading GameFire turning on game mode and then closing game fire and then playing because I have better FPS now after launching and closing it than I did at the very start of the video. All right, so next up is Wise Game Booster. This one seems really interesting, very promising. So again, it has a nice hub here. You can choose to add specific games and optimize them specifically how you want. Uh, we're going to go ahead and optimize all. It's probably going to close out my streaming software again, but whatever, we'll go ahead and do that. <laughs> All right, so it's time to test it out again. Let's just kind of move around, see what happens. So again, I'm seeing that it's capped at this 110 up to 2, 220. Actually, hang on. It did increase a bit when I looked down. So it's almost like the exact same situation. It's giving me what I can get as far as my lows, but not much higher. Um, whereas if I close it out, I will get way higher FPS, but occasionally drop down to 110. So while it's running, it doesn't really seem to be increasing my FPS. And now let's go ahead and try closing it out and then we'll see if it starts boosting. So we just closed it and yep, I'm seeing 200 FPS for my low. So this is wild. So even just like walking around, I'm seeing lows of 160 up to 200 and currently 130, 150 but my lows are exponentially higher after closing the, the software. And now let's see if we can beat 500 FPS if we look straight down. Yep, it's at 530, it went up to 570. And we have 400 for the lows? Holy crap. So yeah, this, this is the best one so far. This one has given me the most in terms of performance out of all of them. Uh, so yeah, I think this one's winning so far. All you have to do is just close out the software and it makes your FPS go like crazy. All right, so this is the last one here. We got Razer Cortex. I've used this one before. I, I did have some good luck with it last time. I'm hoping it'll be just as good this time. So this thing is actually pretty cool. It has an auto boost option, automatically boost your game performance when a game is launched. We're gonna go ahead and click boost now and we're gonna load up Fortnite and see what happens here. All right, we are loaded back up into the game. So this is with Razer Cortex. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm seeing 160, oh, went down to 80, but 170 consistent for lows. I'm looking at the lows because usually the lows are, you know, a good idea of where your general FPS is. But yeah, you can see it is staying around 160, 170. It's pretty good, to be honest. And it doesn't seem like it's being throttled at any in any way, shape, or form. I'm gonna try looking down. Holy crap! Went up to six six hundred for the highs. I think we got our winner, guys. I think Razer Cortex is the software that's it is destroying my old FPS. All right. Keep in mind, guys. Everybody's PCs are different, so what my results are might be different than yours. But still, I was pretty happy with those with those results there from. All three, actually. The first two, we just had to close the software after we optimized it. But as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have an awesome day. Peace out for now.